Hey, it's Mariah, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my lashes. These are false lashes, and I ordered it from Amazon, these false lashes. So, I'm going to jump into the video and show you how I get them done and some tips on how to get them done. This kit is called the B&Q Lash Cluster Kit. I got it from Amazon for $9.99 before tax. This lash kit has the instructions in the back of the package. It doesn't come with like a paper form. It's just all in the back of the package. It's only five simple steps. I do go into a more detailed on how I get my lashes on and a few things that I do different than what it tells you to. This kit comes with 200 lash clusters. It also comes with the lash bond and the lash seal, and it comes with the lash applicator. First step would be to make sure that your real eyelashes are cleaned. Um, they don't have any mascara, oil, or anything on them. The next step I do is curl my eyelashes with my lash curler. Um, just due to the fact that these will have to go under your real lashes. I ordered the 40D lash kit. Um, so this does come with 8 millimeter lashes all the way to 18 millimeter lashes. And you can definitely mix and match from what you want to do with them. From the top, it will be the smallest to the bottom. So the top will have your 8 millimeters and the bottom will have your 18 millimeters. I use the lash applicator to grab one of the lash clusters so that it won't tear. Um, if you do try to take these off with like your fingers, it might, you know, ruin the lash cluster. So just using that and being very gentle taking them off the tray. And then also I put it up to my eye to make sure if that's the length I'm okay with or if I wanted to change the length. Next up is to use the bond. I put that on my real lashes. I know that on the package it does say to put it on the false lash, but I use it on my real lashes. And I do sometimes put on the false lash at the base of it. This is how the bond wand would look like. It's very small, very thin. Um, and it goes a long way. Just putting a little bit on goes a long way. When applying the bond to your real lashes, do not get that on your eyelid. Or at least try not to. Um, it will create to get very sticky. It will make your eyelashes stick together and be harder to put on the false ones. And then also do not put the bond all the way up your lashes like mascara. You want to just keep them more in the middle base of your eyelashes um, just so that it will just stick the lashes on. Also putting the bond all the way up your lashes will get your other fake lashes very stiff and kind of like crusty feeling um you don't want that so try and keep it at the middle base i know it looks like i put it all over but i really try to keep it at the middle base now we're gonna put our first lash cluster under our eyelashes um you do want to keep this as far away from your eye as possible but you do want it barely like touching the base of your eyelid I know that some people do pull their eyelid back, um, but I find that that's kind of harder because you tend to put the eyelash like further back to your eyelid and then it starts irritating your eyes and stuff. So I try to keep my eye like at a normal resting position and then just add on the cluster under my eyelid. And it is pretty easy to stick on, like they will stick. This bond will dry within five seconds. So it is already sticky. It's just really easy to just put under and then let it be and start with the next one.
I used the 11 millimeter size um, for my eyelashes on the outer part of my eyelashes and then I worked my way smaller so like I used the 10 millimeter and the 8 millimeter once I got closer to the corner of my eye or the inner part of my eye um, and that's how I liked them. This is how my eyelashes look once I put them on. Um, they're pretty on there, pretty good. I did squeeze my eyelashes a little bit together with my false and my real ones just to make sure that they were sticking together pretty good. Next, we're going to use the seal to seal our eyelashes. And this is what the seal wand looks like. With the seal, I don't add this to the base either. I just try to keep it where I put my bond at, um, which was like the middle part of my lashes, like midway of my lashes. Not all the way up, not all the way at the base, just midway. And this is the final look for my one eye. And yeah, that's about it. I'm going to do my other eyelashes. And then I did, I was able to keep these on for about... I would say about three to four days. I know some people can keep them on for like weeks before they change them out. But for me, I was okay with like the three to four days and I like it. It's cheap. It is very easy. Anyone can do it. Also, you will need lash remover for when you do want to maybe redo your lashes or take them off or rotate them off or whatever. Um, so don't forget to purchase that. Some kits do come with lash removers, but this one does not. Thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel if you can, if you like the content. Um, I will be trying to record more videos for my channel. Um, I hope you guys like this and leave your comments down below. Thank you. Bye.